Hello, this is Ron Muriello. Welcome to San Diego Cycling Public and our interview for San Diego Design Week. Today I'm going to spend some time with a former environmental lawyer, uh, the uh, acting board president for the San Diego Bicycle Coalition, a, a very strong cycling advocate, and an associate of mine in a project we're doing together in Liberty Station called the San Diego Community Bicycle Center. So there's a lot to talk about, and his name is Richard Opper. I sat with him on a bench in front of Barracks 191 in Liberty Station to talk about the San Diego Community Bicycle Center and everything else he's doing in cycling. Here is Richard Opper. Hello, everybody. I'm Ryan Mariello, and I'm with a good friend, Richard Opper. This is a lecture that we're doing for San Diego Cycling Public in coordination with the Cineo Design Week. And I've asked Richard to talk to us a bit about his life in cycling and how it relates to us in San Diego. So Richard, can you just talk a little bit about your background, and particularly relative to cycling in San Diego? Well, cycling for me started before San Diego because I was born in the East Coast. And it was cycling, the whole notion of it was, it wasn't a, a, a recreation or a sport, it was a necessity, it's transport. So the bicycle was how I got along. I was in a little suburban town, and if I didn't have a bike, I was dead in the water. Mm -hmm. So the bike was a, opened up the world to me. Uh, when I came to San Diego, I didn't even bicycle very much at first. Came here and discovered that it was just a wonderful pastime. The bicycling, when the country's so beautiful, when everything's so gorgeous, it's just a nice thing to do. And, and you've been involved with organizations related to the bike and also civic organizations. Just run us through a few of the things you've done on your off hours. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure which hours are off and which hours are on, but it's always been important to be part of the community. And so even when I first got into town back in the 80s, and that was the beginning of actually doing a lot of work with nonprofits, the Museum of Photographic Arts. I've been involved with them for decades because of just the love for the medium of photography. And most recently, the Bicycle Coalition, the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition. And what's your role there? I'm currently chairman of the board. What's your re renewed passion with a bike and why, and, and really more specifically, how does that help you be enjoy your community more, be more involved with your community? So I'm really trying to decode the role of the bike as a vehicle to strengthen communities. Well, I hear you. I think, I think the bicycle, to me now, the bicycle is both transportation, because we use it for errands and getting around is rather easy to encompass area that we live in. Uh, and it's also recreation. It's also what we do to get free spirited, to break out, especially in this time of COVID when you know, there's very little you can do. You can get out on a bike or ride around the city, ride around our town streets, not see a lot of people, be out in the open, and it's gorgeous and liberating and freeing and also keeps you fit. Do you think COVID's been a good thing for biking? Clearly, the impact of COVID has had a remarkable impact on bicycling. Uh, the bicycle stores are selling more bicycles, they're repairing more bicycles, factories are unable to keep up the orders for bicycling. Mm -hmm. This has been remarkable and lucky. We've noticed, if you, if you and I on our rides together, there's more people on the road and where I live, not far from here, families are out bicycling all the time, coming to Liberty Station on bicycles and little flocks of kids and parents on bicycles. What they need is a place to go to. They need a community center where can, bicycles can be the focus of the culture. Well, of, of we're actually culture. sitting here in Liberty Station. I'm surprised the, the airplanes haven't come overhead yet, so we're happy about We've got that. got some free time. But you have some thoughts about uh, the San Diego Community Bicycle Center, and you've actually made some progress on that. In fact, we're pretty close to walking around. Maybe later on in this talk, we can go walk around the structure. But give us a little bit of background of how this idea came about and what it's supposed to be, and more importantly, what it might be for people of San Diego. Well, one of the other organizations I was part of for a while is the NTC Foundation, and their job was to manage and maintain all the historic buildings of Liberty Station. And although I'm not on the board anymore there, I learned of a building that actually sits on city land, so it was sort of in a never-never place. It was, the, the foundation wasn't in charge of developing it. 
The city didn't really have a budget or a plan for it. They were thinking of knocking it down as an excess building. And it sits remarkably on Park, City Park, in the broadest connection of bike paths of any park the city has, practically. And it's about uh, 20 yards from us, isn't it? It's about 20 or 30 yards from us, and right. it's and just it has dying to be rebuilt. Well, we're going to go, let's go take a look at it. So, if let's say it's uh, two or three or four years into the future, we've We've got the money to rebuild it. Someone has come along or some citizens to help fund this thing, and it's open. What's happening in this space that makes San Diego a better place? Who's using it? Well, part of the beauty of this idea is that it's one that can grow in response to what the community wants to do with it. Mm -hmm. The nexus being bicycles and that there's a place for bicycles, mm -hmm. a heart, heart and home for bicycle things, whether it's lectures, events. I mean, the Ride the Point ride happens annually. It's probably going to start at the event center. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people who come here after riding a bicycle up from Patagonia mm -hmm. who can talk and show slides what that's like, mm -hmm. or leaving here to go bicycle to San Augustine, Florida. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things that the building can grow to be for people who, for the community to use it, to learn, to get educated, to have fun, to be entertained. So one thing I've noticed is cycling tends to be siloed. You're a triathlete, or you're a mountain biker, or you're a cyclocross guy, you're a mom with a tricycle and, and a son. Is this place for all those people? We sure hope so. This is really supposed to be a family center. Mm -hmm. This whole region and this park really attracts a family set mm -hmm. and young kids. So while we will welcome the bicycle racers and recreational clubs. Really what we're trying to do is get families and mm -hmm. help kids learn how to be safe cyclists, learn the right way in a safe environment, mm -hmm. and spread that knowledge out and use it because bicycles can and will transform our community if we let them. Mm -hmm. I mean, the vision of the future, wouldn't it be wonderful if it didn't have so many cars in it? We spend so much place on cars and so much resources, so much money, so much fossil fuel. Well, and, and I heard on NPR last week that London and Paris and other cities are dedicated permanently. Traffic lanes are going to be gone, replaced specifically for the bicycle because, yes, it's healthy. Yes, it's a sustainability issue, but they cannot put as many people into their mass transit now because of COVID. And they found that the bicycle is the ideal replacement for that. So I feel like the momentum is gaining. Ah, momentum. Plus, there's this notion that, you know, if it's popular in London, the weather in London isn't quite as good as San Diego. Oh, I know. I mean, it's not like this there a lot. We should be having an easy sell getting our community into bikes. But, of course, the love Southern Californians have had for cars mm -hmm. goes back a long way. Let's go walk around the center. There's a nice spot for that. Yeah. So Richard, tell me, where where are we here? What? Tell me what spot we're in. Well, we're in one of the far reaches of the NTC Park at Liberty Station. Liberty Station is interesting. It's made up of different pieces, and one piece of it is owned by the city, and it's this big park. And we are on the easternmost point and edge of it. And you see these paths go off. We have DG paths, but we also have... So these could paths. be used by bicycles and yeah, are currently. Cool. And this one here next to the water, oh man. Oh, how many city? Uh, how many fishing. cities could have this? And, and this, here, what is this paved called? paved bicycle paths. Uh -huh. that, and they tie into the huge uh, multi-city bike the bay area where people can you know connect from here to the entire county you can go to fiesta island from here you can cut across the mission bay and oh, what what is the name of this building point. now this is building 191 which they basically named 191 because it was the 191st building the navy built on this site so i love the, the that's history how the and, and how big is this building it's about 6,000 square feet. So the idea is, hey guys and gals, let's make a community bicycle center. We've got a building, needs a little tender loving care. Yeah, but I'm sure we can raise support in the community to do it. So what I told the city is, if you let us have the building, we'll raise the money to fix it up and make it a community bike center. Now, what 
just about ready to sign a lease with the city. It's yet to be approved by city council, but it's this close. Mm -hmm. And then we start the process of trying to raise the funding to turn this into a center. And look right around. There's already this barbecue and picnic area that the city has out And could here. you use this for festivals and yes, bike-related events? And people will just use this facility more. You can see it's not looking the best because mm -hmm. it's abandoned way out here. But once we start activating the space with dozens, if not 100 people, or maybe hundreds on bicycle events, this will be hopping. Mm -hmm. People of people and families and people will have barbecues and will come in to watch a bike movie and learn how to use the new equipment. It's going to be exciting. So Richard, if, if the public wanted to step up and get involved and help and communicate and donate, where are you in the process and how could they be most helpful? Well, we are, the we in this instance, is the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition. We're a big group, been around since the 80s, and we are going to raise the money to try and make this happen. If somebody wants to be part of that effort, just reach out to the coalition. We've got websites, email, a lot of ways through. Great. It seems to me like we've found a spot for bicycling. Great. I appreciate the time. I appreciate what you're doing for cycling and more importantly for the city. And I think the potential here is really enormous. So I'm glad you have that vision. We'll catch up with that. I think we're going to have some fun with this, Ron.